Four times nine is thirty-two, right? Huh? It's thirty-six. Really? But I prefer thirty-two. I think you're thirty-two. Yeah, thirty-two suits you. I'm so confused. By the way, you're a boy, right? This is the girls' bathroom. No, my name is not a boy. My name is Leon. Leon Ugamori. Leon? You're right. I came here today to ask you if you could do me a favor. What favor? Yeah, Hanako, could you be my pet? What? A pet? Huh? Did you really think you're able to hide your true identity? You're so naive. I'm an expert at revealing someone's true identity. My true identity? Yeah, you're a ghost. You're Tua no Hanaka-san, right? Oh, this person is the same as everyone else, too. Everyone was gossiping about you. That there's Toya no Hanaka-san. So I came in to meet you. I wanted to have a ghost as my pet. I'm so happy to meet you. You just came here to make fun of me, too, right? Just leave me alone. What are you saying? I seriously came here to talk to you. I will not let you be alone. Come out of the bathroom and see this! I bought red roses so you will like me! Red roses? Yes, I heard that Tua no Hanako-san liked red things, so I brought it here for a present! Oh, I heard that you don't like milk, so I will drink it for you instead! Ha! <laughs> don't you think we're gonna be a great pair? What are you saying? Please, please be my pet! I will make you happy! See? I'm kneeling down right now! Is it a proposal? I opened the door just out of curiosity. Oh my gosh! Huh? What's wrong? What is this amount of roses? My dad told me when I said that I seriously want to get Hanukkah. I have 108 roses to your mother when I proposed to her. Here, Leon, buy 108 flowers with this money. Be a man. He said so! That's a proposal! Oh, I'm glad you feel better. I knew you like red things. Let's be the greatest pair! Wait! Don't worry, let's go for a walk first. Walking is the first thing to do when you get a pet. Wait! I don't want to go outside. Leon, let's play soccer! Hmm? Why are you with Tori no Hanukkah, son? You're jealous Hanukkah became my pet! <laughs> what are you saying? That dumb girl is your pet? It's lame to make that dumb girl your pet! Leon, you're so dumb! This is why I don't like getting out of the bathroom. I should have stayed in my bathroom except for classes. What did you guys say? I said that it's lame! Not that part. Oh, I said she was dumb! Did you say that towards Hanako? Yeah, what's the matter? Just leave her alone and play soccer! They're right. Just leave me alone. Yeah, you're in the way. Get out, Hanako. Out! Hanako, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> Leon, just leave her. Shut up. Huh? Did you just tell me to shut up? How dare you hurt my pet? I will strike you hard. Wait, Leon. Leon! Leon, stop! I feel nostalgic. After this incident, my master screamed and threw desks and chairs, saying, Stop hurting Hanako! So the bullying towards me ended since that day. Huh? My master? Of course it's about Leon. He didn't like to be called that way at first. Oh, my name is Hanako. I will start working at a new company soon. Maybe I thought of this because I'm so nervous right now. I'm so frustrated! Why do I have to work on the weekends? I hate everyone! Excuse me? Huh? Who are you? Today's a holiday, so no one's here? I'm sorry. It was my mistake. I completely forgot. My next company was off on holidays. Oh, you're the new employee? Yes, I am. I'm Hanako. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I heard that a woman was coming. I'm so disappointed. I wanted a prettier woman than this dumb one. Wow, I can hear his murmur. Is he making his voice loud on purpose? You haven't had a boyfriend in your entire life, right? 
Is it fun to live with that face? <laughs> yes, I'm having fun. So he was saying that on purpose. Oh, I'd want to reset my life if I were you. I'm pretty good looking, right? I was selected in a handsome contest at the university. That's awesome. See? This company is full of good looking people. If you enter, this company's value would drop by a lot. What are you going to do? I apologize for that. Could you quit? What? It's just a joke. But why would they hire you? I will make a claim to the new president. Oh, I remembered. What is it? Are you coming to the welcome party tomorrow? Uh, yes, I think so. A person like you is the main guest. I guess I will get close to the CEO tomorrow. Why are you still here? Just go home. Can't you see that I'm working? Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let's play games before I do me work. He was such a rude person despite the fact that it was the first time meeting. It reminded me of my elementary school years. I'm worried about tomorrow's welcome party. The next day, I joined them a little bit later. Everyone was already drunk. I'm sorry for being late. Hmm? I think I saw you somewhere. Oh, you're the new employee! Yes, we met yesterday. You're late on your first day? I apologize. It's not something you can solve by apologizing. You have to learn the manners to become a member of this society. Come here, I will teach you the manners. Okay. What's wrong with those dumb glasses in the first place? You're a woman, right? At least dress yourself properly. A person like you destroys the food and the atmosphere. Uh, you're right. Don't agree with me? I bet you got fired from the last company because you couldn't do your job. You don't have the looks nor the brain to work in this company. You are just useless. You're right. I might be useless. Can't believe you're in this company. We definitely don't need you. I will tell this to the president over there. To the president? Yes, the person sitting there is a new president. He has dignity, don't you think? He's totally different from you. Mr. President, let's fire her because she's so boring. What are you saying? I've been telling you that I'm not the president. I can't give you anything, even if you raise me like that. See, he's such a humble and awesome president. He even says that I'm his senior. He's such a friendly and nice person. I really like him a lot. Mm, isn't she? What's wrong, manager? He's not really the president. He's Mr. Tanaka. He's a mid-career recruit. Hmm? Mid-career recruit? I've been telling you that multiple times. Huh? So there was no use flattering you? Then where is the president? The president is sitting next to you. Huh? Next to me? What are you saying? The person next to me is a dumb? When did you arrive, president? I'm sorry. I came here just now. The transferring process took longer than I thought. Oh, right. You were the president's secretary. Wait, manager? What's wrong? Uh, this person is the president. Yeah, she is. She's a promising president that got a recommendation from the Ugamori brothers, celebrities of the finance world. You should learn many things from her. Oh my gosh, I'm screwed. Wait, Yoda, what's wrong? You're sweating a lot. Manager, he told me that I don't have the looks or the brain, so I'm useless. Huh? He said that I will lower the visual standard of this company and give this company a disadvantage. What are you saying? Oh no, oh no! You're kidding me! There's no way! I heard your contributions when you were working as a secretary at Ugamori Company. From what I know, I heard that you came here to help our company increase our profit. But a worker here said it to me. Who said such a thing, hmm? I can only think of one person who might say such things. He's such a jerk! Uh, President, I'm gonna punish him! Who and where is that person? And why are you so staring at me like that? Stop it! I'm flattered if you keep staring at me! <laughs> Surprise! Door! Huh? Congratulations on becoming a president! Master? My nose is itching as an owner. Got you! Brother, don't you mean you are proud? Anyway, Miss Hanako, you still your pet? 
master's brother, Mr. Mamoru, you're here too? Why are you here? To celebrate you becoming a president! He is your president! What is this? Brother, even I don't know the present. What is it? It was so heavy. Open it! She's gonna open it here. Oh, I wonder what's inside. Oh, it's incredibly big. Uh huh? A t toilet? Yes, a toilet! You like it, right? Brother, it's not that she liked it. I like it a lot. For real. Hmm? I was right, see? She likes it! Why does she like it? Because the first time me and Master met was in the bathroom. He remembered that. There's no reason why I'm not happy. I will make this a family treasure. Miss Hanako, you're gonna make a toilet a family treasure? Sure, but the truth is I wanted to bring a Japanese-style toilet. I couldn't find it, though. Japanese-style toilet best suits you. That's fine. I will become the Hanako-san in the Western-style toilet. Right, that works too. Miss Hanako, was that always your character? Oh, by the way, something is under the toilet. Uh... I think it's just your imagination. But it stinks! Do you want to flush it down the toilet? It's just an imagination! Uh, don't mind it. And Mr. Leon, Mr. Mamoru, let's drink! Okay! Oh, okay. Somebody help me! Later, thanks to the master and Mr. Mamoru, I had a fun time at the welcome party. Ryota was under the toilet the whole time. Apparently he got drunk and forgot most of what happened in the party, so I'm glad. Good morning, Mr. Ryota. Please do your best today. Good morning! Something is wrong. My knees shake whenever I see the president. Why is this? After that party, I'm scared of going to the bathroom, so I'm wearing diapers. Also, did the president become prettier? Oh, please work on the weekdays so that you don't have to come here on the weekends. Huh? The reason you were at the company last time was because you were doing games in the bathroom on weekdays and you almost missed the deadline, right? Why do you know that? I will deduct your salary for that time. You're fired if you do that next time. But I heard that you can't go into the bathroom anymore, so I guess that's not a problem anymore. You know that too? Of course! Here, this is his month's welfare, Muniman. President, please keep it a secret to other people! I'm comfortable working in this company. The profit is increasing too, and it's perfect. How is it, Master? What are you talking about? Do you notice anything different with me? Huh? Nothing is different. He's right. My master is not interested in me. You haven't changed since we met at the bathroom of the elementary school. Your heart is very clean. In the past and now, you are my favorite pet, Hanako. Master. Brother, I think he's talking about the hairstyle and stuff. You gave her the western-style bathroom, so I think she matched it. I'm so happy, Master. I'm speechless. Oh, you're fine with that. Master. What? Thank you for making me a pet that day. What are you saying? It's me who wants to say thank you. I was really happy when you became my pet. I bragged it to everyone. You bragged her to foreign people and it became such a mess. There were times like this too. Also, 32 gave me that power to achieve my success. Hmm? 32? Oh, the number I said that suits you best. Is there any meaning to that? Yes, 32 has a meaning. It means meeting, chance, development, and chain of happiness. It's Chinese geomancy's one of the five lucky numbers. Master, you said 32 thinking about that, right? That day I met my master, I got a chance to work as a secretary at the Ugumori group, and now I'm the president of a company. The chain of luckiness is still continuing. It's literally 32. Yes, yes, that's right. Brother, did you actually know that? A Chimura game! I can see that you're covering it. But, Miss Hanako, I know that you already know, but my brother has a really good eye for people. The fact that he said 32 is like a coincidence, but I feel like it's actually not. You're right. I think so, too. I don't know much about the difficult things, but Hanako, I hope we can continue our relationship. You're indispensable in my life! Yes. I respect that you can say those words without hesitation. You respect that part? You admire me? Shut up! Hanako! 
Moro is so harsh on me! It's all fine, Master. I'm fine with being a pet now. But I hope someday my master gives me 108 roses. <sighs> Am I too greedy? <sighs> yeah, I I'm too greedy. My master already gave me this much happiness. But I want to be greedy now that I have reached here. Master, I will make you fall in love with me someday. <sighs>